what I actually sell to parents and um, it's just that readiness for this next level, which is high school, which is challenging for some taking that transition from rec ball to that step. And um, so I, I, I definitely want to be that, mm -hmm. that, that step to help them in, in conquering that challenge, okay. which can open up doors as far as getting scholarships and offers from colleges. King our nation, number one pick in the nation. Man, I need my payment, man, I need my placement. I am, yeah, setting on a payment. I am, King our nation, number one. Yeah, one of the scores like 40 to 40. Buy for a movie, a 30 for 30. Been from the south, making real dirty. Been talking loud, but nobody heard me. That's from you. CG and D&D, y'all can start. Y'all can call me on James. Y'all thought y'all was worthy. Y'all isn't worthy. Can't guard nation, CGN, we all we got. Man, today we got a special guest. I'm gonna let my co-host Greg um, introduce my man. He's had some history with him, he knows him. So G, introduce our guest, man. All right. This is where, this is where we going with today's episode. I told you when we started this, I said, listen. Atlanta U football is so different. I moved here from, from up north, yeah. from, from Maryland. I grew up in New York. I moved here, um, and you know, I went to school in Baltimore. But when I got here, I told you, like, football and religion was like neck to neck, yeah, and yeah, everything yeah. is under. Yeah. But it starts with youth football. And I was amazed about the different level of it down here. Everything, not just the skilled players and everything, not just, I mean, just not, not just the players, but just how they treat football. So, so on that, right? Right. Let me tell you when I realized that this was on another level. Right. First of all, first of all, um, this is, again, what I did with my son is why we're having this podcast and he, he may disagree, but my son was in pads. I, I, I'm from New York. I, you know, play football. I heard, you know, they, they got six and under down here. I had my son in pads playing six and under at four. He's four <laughs> years old in pads getting hammered. Right, right, right. I mean, I mean, I mean, I put him in a in a very dangerous situation. I didn't know, I didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? Again, this is what we this is why we have in the podcast. Right. I didn't know no better. But let me say this. This is when I realized. So at, you know, at six and under, they played the first game in the morning. We was playing for Ben Hill. Play the first game in the morning. I leave after that. Every day I just leave after this game or whatever, right? This particular day, it was homecoming. His mother was at the game, came and got him. I said, you know what? I'm just going to stay. Bruh. I stayed from the morning to that last game. By the last game, that back of the end zone was packed. <laughs> Dudes had cups. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kids were scoring, scoring touchdowns. They in the crowd. Right. Liquor flying all over the place. <laughs> I said, this is, I said, this, this is when I realized that this is some next level stuff, man. Like, it was 12 and under, man. And I'm talking about it was thousands of people at the game. I said, this is next level, man. This is when I realized that I was in that. That I was in football country for real. Right. So let me ask you this: you Think I can introduce our guest? I mean, oh, my bad. Talk about your <laughs> story. I mean, God, my bad, yo. <laughs> so what I decided—that was great, though. <laughs> I'm glad you, you said that because what I did, I went and got probably the most controversial youth coach out there mm. right now mm. from California. No, let's say from Hawaii mm -hmm. to Atlanta to New York. Mm -hmm. So that's why I went and asked, hit my man up. Head coach Mark Flanagan of, of the Rare Breeds out of Atlanta. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. Uh -huh. My man, thank you for coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for yes. sure. For sure. Thank Glad you. to we be here. We could jump right into it. For sure. What I want to know first is what, what made you start? Because usually, probably when you was coming up in, 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 in regular, probably up to a, probably about 10 years ago, maybe eight years ago, it's, it was rec ball. It was everybody played for their area, so mm -hmm. forth. Right. Mm -hmm. So what made you start the Rare Breeds? And I know you answer that. Yeah, what, what led you to start the Rare Breeds? Um, man, I had experience with um, a couple of different organizations, um, Atlanta Ducks and, and um, ABA. And 
I think I had a big influence in in the movement that we had with those two brands, mm -hmm. and it was just only right and only time to step out and go rare breed, man, and and tap into something that I was always passionate about from the start. Right, right. So, and I can say because. What's amazing, they got, Jermaine, you probably not familiar, but Facebook got like these big, two major groups right now. Yeah, you just put me on. Yeah, you got Warzone. Mm -hmm. It's kind of more more or less Georgia kind of based. For Maybe sure. a little more. They're doing a great job spreading the word on youth football. But then he goes and starts this uh, new group called uh, National. Well, you, he started it? Yeah. And so. you got people from all over here, people from all over the country in this group. Right, right. He started a, a hashtag, let's go national. And I call, I called him last year. I said, "Yo, what's your plan for this?" He's like, "You know, probably trying to do." Remember, I called Mike trying sure. to do some tournaments. I said, "Bro, you 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 you're shorthanding your stuff. You for got sure. he had about forty thousand in the group." Mm -hmm. I said, "Man, do a show, do something, get all get weekly, get the coaches, get get in, get them into it, and right, so right, forth." Right. Now, one thing I want to, I guess, want to get on is you travel. You're not in the league. You travel. Explain that whole thing. So to our, like a, 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 go ahead. My fault. You a, a, I'm asking this. So this is like a, it's like travel football, like like yeah, AAU correct. football. Yeah, kind of like. that's correct, and that correct. I I was I never that was heard of heard of. Right. I, so I'm like, and I'm not gonna say he invented it, but right now he's doing like, I'm a, I don't want to take his his spill from. I want him to be able to explain, explain to us what made you start traveling, what might have been your first trip, and. Some of the trips and some of the things you're doing now, like now. You know um, I, mean? I mean, the energy we put into our kids at Red Breed, um, it kind of separated itself from the rec level competition. And um, a lot of teams would kind of shy away from playing us that were local. Right. So um, within the group, within the group of credit with um, the national group right. and Let's Go National Movement, I built a lot of relationships with a lot of teams around the country. And uh, it's just only right that we get the top level competition if we're gonna coach on this level and, and push our kids to this limit. So that's what made me kind of yeah. start connecting the dot with different coaches from different states, so we can get best teams, best competition right. every time we take the field. Mm. What's some of the places you've been already, your kids? Oh. Uh, well, we own California. <laughs> we own Texas. Mm, you um, own Texas? Yes. yes. This man, he'll go. We own, he'll, um, he'll put out edits on his page. We're gonna say the DMV. We own the DMV <laughs> area. All that. Um, Alabama. You know, I, every every major city that plays football. Right. We've tapped into it. We just left our stamp in New York, so that's right. that's now um, Rare York City. So, <laughs> so this dude, I mean? he did last year. I wish I saw it was so funny and dope. He put out, he put an edit out, edit out on his page, like a map of the United States, mm -hmm. and like he'll he'll put like we, instead of Texas, he'll say rare we, breeds. We stamped it on the uniform, man. So wow, yeah, right for sure, for right, sure. right. You that's see what, what I mean? Wait, that's where y'all. That's, that's everywhere they've been. That's yeah, where they yeah. the we've, lime green. We've conquered those. We've conquered those. There's a few more on there. We conquered y'all though. Where, where, where did you have a hard time at? A hard time. A city, an out of state city. Um, I'll say when we first traveled to California, it was a team out there. It wasn't the OG Ducks, but it was a Ducks team. And they were pretty decent. They had a nice little scheme. Um, they beat y'all? No. Hell, hell no. Nah. That's what I'm saying. So, I so mean, I'm trying to give you something. No, I'm asking. So y'all have not. So y'all have not lost when y'all went out. Y'all have not lost. Um, since we become rare breeds and my staff, um, we have not lost a game. Are you? How long is that? How long? Um, 2019. Are you serious? What's up? How many national championships you have? Uh, this will be the fourth one in a row this year. You know, I knew that. I just wanted you to bring me. Nah, I wanted sure. to give you an opportunity. Sure. Wow. Yep, yep. So. So so how do so so, you know how do um. Cause I, I I know the culture, mm -hmm. in terms of the the coaches and you know the, you coming in like this, man. I I I could imagine the hate is crazy. Nah, man, no doubt, man. Um, actually, yesterday, man, I made a post, man, just saying like, uh, people be in secret competition with you and they still be losing by twenty one. Right. Like <laughs> like that's man. That, 
it's real. Like mm. it be jokers that just just envy what you're doing and not knowing like how much passion and time and commitment. But the OGs, like the OG coaches, don't ever just be like, bro, you doing it? No, for sure. For sure. Some, but some hate. Right. Because I see right, right, subliminal right. hate on, on yeah, you know, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Even some of the ones that hate even do that. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, so I, I would think like somebody money. like a, somebody like a coach Tim, mm -hmm. has he, uh, I mean, he, he has to love, because nah, he's man, retired. He, been, he, he has solid. to love what you do. Man, he been solid. Actually, he, um, he helped provide one of the locations like a week ago. Back. For oh. some of the teams to yeah. play and stuff. So, nah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's love there too. Yeah. But, you know, um, the the hate is is constant. But, so. Yeah, but you want you know they say you know you're not doing it you're not doing it right you're not doing something if right. you're not if getting you're nobody hate. talking right, about right, it. Right, right. Nobody no doubt because no. ain't nobody hating no doubt on the worst team and I and I fuel it I fuel it because it helps yeah. fuel me yeah, yeah. so yeah and we and I'm yeah. and I'm gonna talk I'm I'm definitely gonna talk about that yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Sure. Go, quick question first thing I want to touch on how is this funded are the kid mm. the parents just pay for it do you have sponsors um, you know, let them know. You seeking sponsors? Probably always. No, no yeah, anybody want to no drop doubt. something on him? But no how, how is it? How do you go about? Because I know, like AAU, you, you got some teams that might be sponsored by a brand. You might have, you know, some teams' parents got to pay to go travel. So how does the rare breeds do it? Unknown to most men, like it's it's actually tough at times. Mm -hmm. Where should we we are seeking sponsors because right. you know it's limited. Like our parents are amazing. Our parents are amazing. What we do is we try to provide avenues and ways to make it as cheap as possible. Okay. But it, it does get expensive at times. Um and we do have some support, don't get me wrong. Right. Like we do have some support and some guys who lend their last at times to, right. you know what I mean, right. make sure we able to do what we do. But um Man, our biggest component, man, God, like right. God, God did for real. Right. So, like, to pull out some of the stuff. A lot that, a yeah, lot of that man, is, yeah. that hit me. That hit right, me deep because right. I know it's been it's been some times where we didn't know how we was gonna pull it off, right. and, and it and it was done. So, so now nah, I got man, a question. Go ahead. So, as good as y'all are, mm -hmm. right? Not lost a game since two thousand nineteen. But how when do you, when did when do y'all start practicing? Like when do y'all like like when when, when do y'all start practicing? How often do you practice? How like you know what I mean? Because like, I'm gonna let him add yeah. it because I want to add something to yeah. that too. Once he says something, because I know, oh, man, just what, to be what month. Um, man, we do some on some as soon as January. So, so it's and then a, when do you stop? It's ongoing. When do you stop trying to do something that you're passionate about? Mm. When do you? Okay, so 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 what I'm saying so like like basically y'all playing all year round, for sure. Right. And it's crazy because two years ago, Jermaine. I mean, we don't play tackle football right. all year round. Okay. And my son, I got a son in his, his age group. He's on right now. Right, right. And he was calling me like, "Yo, when you bringing me Grayson? Yeah. Grayson was in nationals for basketball. He was doing, right, right. and I couldn't bring him." When he was done, because by June he's a skilled player, and by June he probably he probably done had about seven or eight, and he was me and him kept it. I was like I was like yo, Ma, I can't. He ain't gonna have a fair shot to compete because kids been there, so, right, and right. he knows Grayson could play. He was athletic, and that kind of deterred him from. He stopped playing football because all the teams started doing a copycat like so, it. So it was like we yeah. done with by the time we done with national basketball. The position he's the average size kid. He can play with them. And we encourage other sports too. He, right, right. that's a good okay, question. So that's good. So that's, good. so that's where I was going with. Right, it. right. How, like you saying, you you encourage other sports, but how can you encourage other sports when y'all playing pretty much all year round? That the, realistically, play, do they have we play time? tackle? No, no. But even on the seven point. on seven, even even on yeah. But you know, we we give and take with seven on seven, where. We know it's other sports going on that. So if they miss, they're not season. penalized for missing right, the right, game right, right, or right. practice. So do a lot exactly. of do most of your kids, most of your kids are, are doing all year round, or, or, or most are playing other sports. Mm -hmm. Um, the major guys definitely gonna tap in. You know what I'm saying? Where they try to balance it out, where they give us something. It okay. ain't just a complete shutdown from right. seven on seven or this or no. Nah, they they kind of. Tap in when they can, right. when they have off days, little stuff like that. So, so, but we let them be committed to 
you know, they baseball season, they basketball season in a sense, and do try you, to balance it out. Do you actively recruit? Because what I've noticed right now, because I follow that age group at 11 and under, mm-hmm. <clears throat> you like the Nick Saban right now. You you getting five stars leaving other teams where they can actually be playing on mm-hmm. to come to ride the bench on you. Really? How do you do? Yes. See, but that is that you. What I do don't. You th- no, I don't know if he recruit. All I know is I see no, them I'm going. I'm asking, but 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 my but, but my question my my question just to piggyback on that is. Okay, you got five. So you got a kid who's 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 obviously nice, mm-hmm. can play. He's been playing on this side, but then he comes over here, mm-hmm. and now he ain't getting time. How do you keep that How, kid? No, or or why keep him? Why no, not have no, the kid go I'm, play I'm someplace not, else? Uh, because I'm be honest with you, mm-hmm. I'm no coach is doing that. Nick is not doing that. Calipari and basketball. Well, we're under, not talking about that. We talking no. about we talking about eleven. But you and not just not compete. just dead. Not, 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 not you just dead. You got to think of we're it like this: um, the the level of knowledge of the game that we provide, I don't entrust in the next organization to be doing. But, the, but okay, I, so that's okay. So, Good point. So I'm gonna give, so I'm gonna give you an example. I'm a basketball dude. Right. Had top team in in the state. For years, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like nobody, you know, Ant Man, all of them, kept, they 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 played up under me, right? Mm-hmm. You say that like every show. I mean, who, okay, I'm just, <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, no, the no, competition no. wasn't spread no. out like it is now. No, 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 no. To this day, can nobody see us? To what this are you day? talking about? To this day, nobody. You can't judge that now. <laughs> I What's can't, going I'm on? Looking at the talent. Talent. This talent. I look at the talent. That's like you're wrong, you're wrong on that. Yo, you're wrong. On, son. You're I'm wrong. Not, I'm you're not wrong. wrong on that. That's can't, there's, not a, there's not an AAU team at that age right now. What that is you talking about, bro? Well, hey, bro, bro, how can I'm you say that? That's, that's what I'm saying. Saying. So you, nobody that's, see us. Well, you saying a comment like that? That's like saying G, they this G. team. That's like saying G. oh, oh, the, that's, you, the world the, all champs now can't go beat it, the Bulls. It's hard to compare, man. No, thank you. It's not, you. It's not hard to thank compare. You. If you know the thank game, you, coach. If you no know, doubt. if you know the game, if you know the game, and you've seen the talent now. And you know what you had. Like we got all our kids the, are playing D one. Way you really the team can beat a team. Just doing that right now. Only way, the 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 way you can determine if a team beat a team is they play each other. Only way you can determine if a team can beat each other if they play each other. Thank you, coach. All right, we gonna have to we, move on. We're, we're Thank, you. To disagree. <laughs> Thank you. We're Thank you, coach. But my point, what I'm saying is, I, like I had I, one kid in particular. I, I, I remember I told his mother like he came over. He couldn't. He just he wasn't getting a lot of time. Right. You know what I'm saying? And at that age, see, I don't believe, I, me personally, mm-hmm. I don't believe in kids just sitting at a young age because the see, only but, way, but, 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 but the only way that they can, the only way that they can get better Plan. is by playing. But you made a great point because mm-hmm. the, the knowledge that you give them. So what I told her, the, the, this this parent, I'm like, look, because she was coming to me about playing time. I'm like, look. Right now he can't hack it, mm-hmm. and he and, 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 and he he may be okay. Right. But what you gotta do is take him, let him play on another squad mm-hmm. that he's going to be on the floor. Bring him, he can still be here, but he's not getting any better right. skill wise because there's one thing to train, and then there's another thing to train because you play games to practice. You know what you what you to practice, practice yeah right. practice what you've been training on. So I told her take him there, let him get that time. Right. But he can go go away with us. He can come to us with all that kind of stuff. So right. I just feel like a kid just coming and sit, especially when he can obviously play. He's a five star like five star on another squad. Okay. Then come then come in there. It's like now I'm sitting. I'm getting the knowledge. Man, he gonna, well, shit, he's going to just be, be a coach. He, he, he'll be a great coach because he's right. seeing the game, but he ain't playing. Right. Well, what I what I sell is um, preparation for high school. So okay. when your kid leave from Red Breeze, um, proof in the pudding from the kids that left before, um, they go play as ninth graders and get to play on the varsity level and are ready to play. Yeah, but if they're not playing, they can't be ready. You can't say that because I've had kids that were role players that are right now ninth grader starters. Okay. That are right now sophomores and have ten plus D one offers. Okay. And are playing. They're playing right now on that level that matter the most. Right? I mean, there's something that'd be said too, um, 
during practice. Just because, getting out. You said iron football's a little different too because I know what you're getting at, but I speak to scouts. You know what I do. I speak to scouts, right. and they'll take they'll take a backup from Bama true. before they'll take true. a starting corner true. from true. McNeese State. True. From, right. Uh, uh, you see what I'm saying? So Ooh, they true. go there. Like these guys, that's these true. scouts tell me they, they start evaluating because it's guys a mentality. They you get just in, being in that environment, it's a mentality. Right, you know, right. Like, you know what I mean? The competition on a daily. Like that does something different to it. Okay. A, to so a, again, this is because football because football's dead. I know what you think, but, but football and basketball no, no, but, 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 let's, but not in this sense, it's not. Because just think about remember when I took Messiah over to Pebble Brook? Yeah. Left North Atlanta, went to Pebblebrook. For who? Basketball. Basketball. Right, right. They had to, like, we now know, like, today when it all played out, it was Colin Sexton's senior year and stuff. We had eight Division I players right. on that squad. Right. Every day, every day. Messiah got work. He got work. Right. Even though, you know, he at, at first he wasn't getting a lot of time with it, but he was getting that, that, that work. Yeah. So, so I get that. But as a parent, and this is why we're having the show, this is why we having these conversations because as a parent you got to know that. So so do you have your son? You, this is this decision that you got to make. Mm -hmm. Do you have your son on uh, the Ackworth apples, mm -hmm. <laughs> or right. do you you know where he's the man mm -hmm. and the practices? You know what I'm saying? You know but everybody's then, snack kids. But, you know right. what I'm saying? They but, eating chips during breaks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then he ends up going to. Uh, Kale or a powerhouse up there, and he has a reality he check. He has a reality check. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, because that be because that be that parent telling the high school coach, right? My son was just at twelve view, right? And the right. so coach was like, "Well, where was he playing? In Sandy Springs against right. the the Ackworth Apple? You right. know what I'm saying? Right. 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 right, right, right. So, or do you bring him to an organization, a team, a situation, environment where? He's and like G said, iron sharpens iron. Every day. Every day. Um, but I also think that it depends on the kid. For sure. Yes, yes. yes. And this is what and this is what, what, what this is this is the stuff that you gotta think about as a parent. Stuff you gotta think about. Okay. Think about the personality of your kid. Think about the, the skill set of your kid and make an informed decision. But don't just bring him to a a, a spot just because they're winning, right? Right. And, and they're and this is the this is the popular thing to do because now that that may ruin his I mean, football that's, career. It's, it's wild though, because like with us, uh, and definitely with me, like I've never turned a kid away. Hmm. So regardless of skill level, and nothing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, this kid it may be a kid who may not even be that good. And they say, well, we just gonna come over there because you know it's the it's they're good. But this kid who may not be that good can stay with the Ackworth apples and and sharpen his skill set. Right. And right. then when he's ready, step it up. It's it's a process. That's all I'm saying. For and sure. you, and you sure. have to really look at it. You have to assess. You have to assess your your child, man. And just don't make moves without if you don't know, man. It, it's, you know, you got to talk to some expert counsel. And this is what I'm saying. Like, come talk to coach. You right. know what I'm saying? You got to be honest. No, transparent as they come. You got to be like, hey, yeah, he ain't right. going to put. Yeah. He, he's right. not going to. He's not going to. And the play. reason why he's saying this is because the whole idea of this podcast that right. he created, and that's right. Nicole, is to help parents and athletes navigate sure. through the whole. You understand what um, I'm saying? So a whole amateur. And so that's why he's going. It's not like he's being devil adv devil's no, advocate right now. He wants to give our fault our listeners, so that's why he's saying that. I call myself. I call myself. I'm a life coach and I'm an athlete advocate. Okay. So I'm always speaking what's best for the athlete. No doubt. I'm trying to help parents, coaches. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know to to be able to make the best decision and not and to just and, you know and and sure. it's funny because that's another reason I wanted him on here because I think the public perception of Mark the 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 Georgia U football is like he's this 
nasty guy, this disrespectful guy. But does he? But, but, but he's some the most now controversial listen. coach right, in Georgia. Right, but I talk to him on the phone every night. I'll call him about something. I'm like, yo, this dude got a head on his shoulder. He knows what Obviously. he's doing. So that's why I said, let me bring him on here. For you sure. know what I mean? And, and Because some of his comments he having me done. Oh, he'll go. He'll, <laughs> but he, he wants that. He, right. So, so right. Which For is sure. good. <laughs> which is good. So when, 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 and I showed him. So I showed him a, a clip. A pregame chant of y'all, like, and it's and it has kids same pro, pro, profanity. Mm-hmm. His first get him more in here. I yeah. still want him more in the show. <laughs> so we going we gonna switch a little bit right yeah. now. Yeah, and talk about the life coach. Yeah, and talk about yeah. the culture. Not only that, but let's first talk about right. some of the stuff in recent, which had nothing to do with Mark in the recent headlines All of right. a guy coach a dad assistant coach lost his life. So Atlanta football, I mean, not Atlanta, you football in the country kind of got a little black eye right now. Sure. Not Huge only sports, that, bro, but you know, but, 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 but wait, Here before we even get into that, I'm going to touch on something else. When you look on everything right now recently on ESPN, NFL, on football, anything to do with the NFL, there's one thing in common. Everything that's, pro- that's promoting NFL and college football on all media platforms, do you know the one thing everything got in common right now? What? Sports book, gambling, mm. okay. and there's a sports book underneath the, on the ground for you football too. Whether you condone it or not, I'm pretty sure you hear because I see it. They open about it. If you go in that football um, group, what's the line on the rare breeds in the Atlanta Elite this weekend? Wow. So I yeah. I don't know if that contributes to 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 the black eye and all that, but. Let, Let's let's talk about that a little bit. It What's contributes your, to the emotions. And the emotions, the emotions, which, right, which right, probably led to the people. guy exactly. losing his life. Here's your chance to talk about. It. What's your thoughts about that? Let's talk about that question. first, and then go on to the. Um, tough line, man. Tough yeah. line. Yeah. Um, definitely don't just condone and support and push it. Right. But, but it's going to. I'm aware that is it goes on. Right. So, um, I mean, it's just a fine line that I think. You you want to separate it, but right. it's been going on for years. Yeah, I mean, they did. Yeah, right. they did they it outside did the lines outside on the, down right, in Miami. Right, yeah, right, yeah, exactly. It's been and, going on and, for years. And has anybody ever came to you and try to ask you to throw a game or do anything like nah, that? Nah, nah, nah. I didn't nah, think nah. so. I just had fortunately to... I ain't been in that, right, that right, aspect. Right, 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 right. I don't. I don't had to right. make sure you win it. Uh, gotcha, I don't have gotcha, that one. So gotcha. Nah, but but nah, man. You think it will help it? I know this is stupid. If they legalized it like they do college <laughs> like <laughs> I'm just saying I, I mean, mean they do help it in what way but, but have a sports book for you football right right it's, it's on college right now it's on I NFL. think the only thing that ends up changing I'm is saying, I'm just asking if it's not on the ground maybe it'll that keep shit it just made my stomach flip when you said that yo yeah, like well I mean it's what we we we, we go talk about I, I'm asking a question no no I'm, I'm just not saying, saying this shit. no 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 I know that I'm saying well, the fact they, that you if, said that yeah, just made my yeah, like, like, like you look right, you right, turn right, on ESPN right, right now you look on NFL live right now it's going to be dra- it's going to be draft kings this DraftKings that. Right, and that's why... Season's Palace Sportsbook. That's exactly why you can't on this level of it because, like, them parents... Right. They gonna tap in. They, they gonna, gonna tap in. They gonna right. tell their kid, oh, better drop that ball. Right, right. Man, that's right. a whole different right. monster. Right. Like, that's too much. So, it's yeah. too much, but right, I had to right, ask Right, them. right, That's too you much. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's deep. But well, I do. About, but, but, but no, no. But I do. Can we? Can we move on to to, to the kids with the yeah. the, the, the curse and the, the, yeah. the chance? Yeah. What you think about that? What What's it? Yeah, what, do I think? Yeah, um, like because I I've seen on some of your lives. I saw one live. I was like, because your lives is entertaining. I ain't gonna lie. Sure. This man started summer camp for these kids down in like some country. I don't even. He probably some undisclosed. He probably don't want it. But he had yeah. them for a camp, which I thought was dope. I called one of the parents that I know. That my friend, my son is still friends with Ty. April, I'm like, your son down in case. He's like, yeah, he can mark, mark, take him, mark, got him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and I know some of the lives, and I want, I know one of your lives. One of the kids came out and he says, curse, and he's just like, excuse his French. You stopped him, excuse his French, but they are saying it in the chance. They right. say it, it's rare as rare as rare, fuck. Rare as fuck. Right. Say, knock a nigga shit loose. Right, right. Too bad. Knock a nigga shit loose. Knock a nigga shit loose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I'm going to do. Because he's a life coach. So he's right, going, right, 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 right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let all parents know your kid uses profanity. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> when he hears you, he mimics you. So he does use profanity. If you didn't know, now you know. Cat out the bag. They, they cuss. Right. All right. Football is a warrior sport. You're on that gridiron. Whatever it takes, whatever helps get you to your warrior mode, I'm all for. Because that guy who you playing against, he want to take your head off whether you cussed or not before this game starts. But cussing, but cussing don't make – look. It's a, it don't. It it's, don't. It's a very – and I said, I said this on – one of the shows, I say this all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a trainer. I'm a hoop trainer, right? right? Right, I say this all the time about athletes in general. For sure. It's a very thin line. If this side of the line was being the ultimate competitor mm -hmm. and this side of the line was crazy, mm -hmm. you have to learn how to walk that fine line no without doubt. going over. And that's life in general. Like, right. I, I really think it's important that my boys, my boys I interact with have a balance and a real understanding of reality being able to walk in a building and know this ain't a building that you can use profanity and being able to walk on the field and know when it's time for a chat and then we can we can we're, we got a little bit of a leash now with coach because we're in game mode and knowing that difference and being able to balance that out is valuable for a kid in more than football that's a that's a good point because that's, that's us. A, no right it, it that's, us. that's we the, curse but i'm not gonna go curse if I'm sitting here in negotiations in a room with the GM and the cap guy from the Buffalo Bills, correct? <laughs> you know no, what I mean? No, 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 I, that, that's 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 a good point. I just think that at that age, mm -hmm. I just think at that, I think it's just, uh, I just think it's premature. I just, I, I, and I understand but, the word. I understand uh, sports. My son, like when playing my, my kids. That ain't just that for me. Like with just sports, is that's that's life for me. Like I, I really firmly believe in teaching them early where we learn late. All right. Well, okay. they're learning early because they're social media and everything. Right, anyway. right. They, they, so, they are. So, so why not be a, a a point of influence that's not just getting snatched from social media or from what they're hearing, like. Be be a guy who is a little open to the reality of what they have anyway, and being able to kind of balance it out and, and get. But you don't. So you don't think that that like them. You don't think by because football sports is sports is really like the kids getting good grades in school right the kid you know what i'm saying all right. do, do, you know just doing what they're and, supposed and to do my experiences i'm not having that comeback from parents right now that oh he's been super disrespectful in school since he came i'm not having that like my reports i get back right now i got all a b students and now we, I see you we go to public we go to public places and Owners of places are telling me, man, these kids are very respectful. There. So what? Do, but have you had any pushback on that with the, with any parents? For sure. What are they? What, sure. what are mostly, they mostly before they become a part of it. Mostly like, oh, I ain't bringing them y'all cuss. Ooh, ooh. But once they get here and realize, okay, it ain't just that. You know, that's something that people try to put to the front as a negative. But because they don't have too much to reach on, so that's that. Most times, that's them reaching for something to put a negative light on. But eleven? Kind of, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, and, and, and no, when the young ones started, do it too? Do the young ones do it too? They they mimic, they mimic. They, so no, they that's, that's but look, 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 hear me, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Um, this actual year, well, well, last year was the first year we started with younger ages. So this rare breeze actually started with one group right. that was 13. Right. I mean, it's close to 11, yeah. I mean, I, you know what I mean? But uh, that's two years. Not that's what, that, was, that was their big brothers. So That's my point, when, bro. When that's... they, I mean, that, it comes with the territory. Like, you, it's not gonna be squeaky, clean, perfect, where it's a balance. It's a balance, yeah. Now you got 11-year-olds mimicking 13-year-olds cussing, but it's a, it's a gift and a curse in a sense where, but if you stay true to 
teaching them early where we learn late in a sense, it, it kind of ties. That's a, I mean, I, 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 I must say that that's really, really a it's really, really a good point because I, that's 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 a really good point because I I I, I always say. The shit that they're seeing on social media now, the stuff that they're learning right. at age 12, right. 10. Right. We weren't seeing until we were 18 years old. Right. But they have so much exposure. And, and it's not like they're learning the word with us. Mm -hmm. No, you, They didn't learn the word with us. If I can get that. They, no, they, they're, they're not. They're seeing it. Right. They're seeing it. Right. right there, right there, and, and I, so so that that's a, that's a really that's a really good point. I'm so happy that you use the B word, um, balance. Right. You know. Now I'm saying I ain't there, so I don't know. I, you could be just telling, you know, blowing smoke up my ass. I, sure, like you, sure. you could be saying, you know, that you know when they when they walk and build everybody's respectful. I I, I don't know. Right. So that so it sounds great, right. and I and I hope. Because you know, one thing you said, it comes with the territory. If that's if that's your environment, if that's what you're doing, then I encourage you to please, 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 please put balance into that situation. Because life is about balance, for sure. And and it, it, it is, it yeah, is, it, it's it's, it's about balance. So that's just that's that's so so important. Because bro, as a coach, I'm, I'm you know coach training, co I'm. I, I'm gonna say it. I'm a very good coach. I got I got a very very good record. I done won state championships, all that. You know very, what I'm saying for very, high school. Very good. No, but I am. But I, but I come from but, but my but my pops. No, I tell you, my father's a coaching legend. Right. I right. learned from the best. Right, right. You know, motivating and and all that. You know what I'm saying? The my father used to always say this to me, man. He he always used to say this, man. He would say, a coach has can make or break. A kid, and not and, and we talking we talking about it in life. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying. So the responsibility that we have as coaches mm -hmm. is so big, man. Because some of these kids don't, some of these kids don't have dads. You know what I'm saying. So right. the coaches are their dads. You know, you guys are their dads. You guys are their leaders. You guys got more. You guys got 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 more influence over them. Look, I'm, I'm going to tell this quick story. You know, Coach uh, JP. He play, he, um, um, he was with the Atlanta Vikings. He helped start the yeah, Vikings. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So one day, man, my son, um, being a knucklehead in school, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 he, this wasn't the first time. So you know, JP had told him, "Yo, look, the next time that you get in trouble, you're gonna have to come see me." Right? Yeah. This is when I realized, man, that it, this more than me. And I and I my I raised my son right. as a single dad. Right, right, right. He got in trouble. Get in the car. I'm I'm on him. We we about to go to we about to go to uh to practice, right? I'm on him. I'm like, blah, 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 fussing him out. So I'm driving. I hear some sniffling in the back. He crying. So I said, cause it, what he did wasn't like you know wasn't like that. So I said, man, what you crying for? You gonna tell Coach JP? <laughs> I said, oh shit. <laughs> I said uh -huh. this is this is real. Like like this coaching thing is real and he got a father in the crib. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, for so sure. so so the life coach, athlete, advocate, mental health cause I've been in mental health for years. I just want to say, bro, like you got you you got them, bro. Yeah. You you got these kids in the palm of your hands. And and honestly, man, after we get I I want to, you know, cuz Camp Guard Nation, it ain't just a podcast, bro. Mm -hmm. It's the Camp Guard Nation really honestly, bro, the way the way it the way I when my son first came up with the name, I'm thinking about athletes in the community doing stuff. You right. can't guard us. We're not going to predict right. who we are. Like we ain't going to just shut up and dribble. All right. So I really want to I really want to connect with you on that kind of stuff, sure. you know, to enrich your organization, bro, cuz bro it ain't nothing like being a winner. My father used to always say that. Everybody loves a winner. That's why kids are leaving teams coming to you. Not because you losing. Right, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't because you cussing. Right. It's because you winning. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So what I want to do, I want to partner up with, with, with people like you, coaches like you, organizations like you, and do some community stuff with the kids. That's my thing.
For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So I just, I just that, that, that's, my, that's my two cents, you know what I'm saying, in it. I, mean, I love what you, obviously, bro, are a great coach. I don't give a damn if you had the best talent. You, you don't win. You don't not lose for three years. Right. Without without coaching, for sure. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. So, bro, I I I, I commend you for that. I said my piece on that, man. man respect. So, with that, all that being said, coach, what is your end game? Like, what's your mm, ultimate goal for the kids? Not only when they, I know you when they got they want them to be productive in high school. Is there anything outside of that you want, or in addition to that, for oh, the kids? Man. Or your goal, or where do you see yourself? Five, ten, fifteen years, maybe. Um, man, you know, for you me, hit me up on a couple. Of... Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> nah, for sure. Right. <laughs> nah, man. Um, the biggest thing for me, man, is what I what I actually sell to parents, and um, it's just that readiness for this next level, which is high school, which is challenging for some, taking that transition from rec ball to that step, and um. So I, I I definitely want to be that mm. that that step to help them in, in conquering that challenge, okay. which can open up doors as far as getting scholarships and offers from colleges, and which is already ultimately, starting. Yeah, ultimately. I see with the kids from Woodward, right, right, right. Cornelius Big Warren and them, they all, yep, yep, they all If you want to shout any of them out, you can. Yeah, man. Cornelius heard. Um, he's our oldest rare breed. Right. He's um junior right now at Woodward Academy. Um, just committed to Florida State University. Nice. Um, had over fifty plus offers. Nice from, from Division One schools. Um, um, Big Juan, Juan Gaster. He's at Westlake. He's a sophomore. With um, Jabari Jones, he's an athlete there. He started quarterback a week yeah, ago. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. the other RJ was down. So started so quarterback where Westlake. Yeah. Okay. He actually started slot, but he ended up starting quarterback. A week ago, he played quarterback with Red Breeze. Um, they had a big battle against um, Cedar Grove. Yes, I missed it. About, it rain, about, I didn't think about it was... eight boys on Cedar Grove right. team, as sophomores, mm. all starters. Um, so you had your little ones there. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. but you know what the difference is. You know what the difference is when I'm hearing him say what 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 I didn't see a lot of, like um, with the kids coming up, like you know, um, up, coming up from Ben Hill and. The Vikings and stuff. A lot of them kids stopped playing when they got to when, right, when, right. when they got to and high school. And that's what I'm huge on, man, because I I love the game, man. So you love part it. of what I do, man, is trying to get them a reason to fall in love with it. Because because they get burnt. This they man, get this burnt man, out. he'll make football youth posts on like a, a Monday morning in March, like seven a.m. So sure. what y'all doing? I'm over here. <laughs> I'm over here chalking up plays. What y'all doing with y'all day to day? So the no, love, this sure. guy is on a different level. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. And it, it's opened up doors and avenues for me, man, that I know they can reap from and reap benefits from. If, I just if, think it's important, do. man, to, to just, you know, winning is a drug. For sure. It's a drug, man. And um, you, because you're winning, you gonna, you want to keep winning. You want to keep it like you know you 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 want to keep winning. So just it's just important, man, for you and the coaches just to keep everything in perspective. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, don't have the kids out there practicing in 110 degree weather. Sometimes. <laughs> that, that's that, I'm just saying that kind of Guilty. shit because I, look, I'm the most comp I'm one of the most competitive dudes you you you, right, you right. left for, for See, real. See, but this year probably was the only year we were. Like out there for real around that because we was going to play in Texas. Y'all can't find a gym. Um, Texas is hot. <laughs> <laughs> they they weren't gonna put how, our game in a gym. How many games y'all be playing sometime in the weekend? In a weekend? Now nah, my teams I, we, I typically just play one. Oh okay. Yeah. Once we get the leading towards okay. nationals. Okay. Like that was a tournament based, so they're back to back days. So over a weekend we might start doubling up towards the end of the season just to prepare for a mm. tournament play of playing mm -hmm. mm. three, four games over a weekend. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. leading up to that, we pick it up. But typically, like we just with the Brooklyn, one game. Right. Um, How was New York, man? Dope, man. Dope, dope. My my only knock, man, is commuting. Commuting places is 
ridiculous. Horrible, it's so man. funny. He's, crazy. Not only is he like he, he's a good, he's a controversial coach and all that, but you know what people lack about you? your marketing skills? No, nah, for sure. This man put on the fly when he first you dropped. Sent it to me. That was the second one. The first one he dropped had me dying. He put up the flyer. We're going to Brooklyn, but it was it was on. He had the music in, but where Brooklyn at? Where yeah, Brooklyn at? Sure. For and sure. then he had all his coaches telling me, yo, I'm coaching at my Tim's that weekend up there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Man. So he, he got his marketing hat on too. You know yeah, what I mean? Man, Which I think, that, that, man, that part comes natural. Man. Right, right, yeah. right. I think the the part that makes that so successful on that aspect is just being authentic. Yeah. And, he, yeah. he knows how to rub. He'll, Monday mornings, he'll get out there. He'll get up on, on the big groups. Hey, raise your hand if you're still undefeated. <laughs> nah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, them those questions that's need fun. to be asked. That's fun. fun. That, yeah, that's all. That's, that shit is but fun. But it's good man. marketing sure. yeah, too because great. it makes everybody throw darts around. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know what I mean. So at the, at the end of the day, we appreciate you coming yeah. on. Um, anything you want? How how do they follow you? Um, you want to shout out your organization or your personal um, social media or anything else you want to let them know that they might not sure, know for about? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, Rap Breeze only on on Instagram. Rap Breeze underscore only. Um, that's our major organizations, um, IG, um, Facebook, man, tap into National Youth Football Group 2.0, um, that way you get all the information on where games are played, uh, around the country, not just limited to Red Breeze, um, and man, like, tap in, man, follow the, follow the vibe, man, um, we create our own little lane, we, we not too many followers in my account, um. And we we leading the way. Come come follow it, bro. Just as a just 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 as a um, you know, I think coaching is a is a fraternity for sure. And, all, and no matter what sport you're coaching, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I I I, I love your spirit, bro. Like mm -hmm. for real. Like I, I really I, I I dig dig your spirit. For sure. You know what I'm saying. And and it was I'm, I'm it was a pleasure meeting you. Likewise, it was it was it, it, it was it was it was a pleasure meeting you, yeah, man. Yeah, like yeah. like really. We, we want you to know that you know. We got a little token for you coming on. For sure. You're part of the Can't Guard Nation now. Hey, yeah. And the Rare yeah. Breeds is part of the Can't, Can't Guard Nation. Right, right, and, right, right. and, and, and call his bluff on that. Oh, yeah. Partner up with him. Yes, right, with right, him right. Now. I mean, yes. matter yes. of fact, I don't need you to go get some more. Uh, I need you to go get about 50 turkeys and go have them hand out some turkeys. That's what we have to give them. Rare Breeds Thanksgiving Day. For real. I'll, real help, I'll drop a dime on that, my too. Man, I'll drop the money on that. This is what it's all about, y'all. This is what it's all about. CGN. Yeah. We all we got. For sure.